Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw an elk. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Draw this circle slightly smaller than the first circle. Don't place the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. On the top left side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. Make this circle about one-third the size of the first circle. On the left side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. On the top right side of the head, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. On top of the head, draw a very long sloping line as a guide for the antler. Draw a short line that connects to the head for the base of the antler. Curve the left tip of the line upward. Curve the right side of the line high up to the top right. Pay attention to the shape and length of this line in relation to the head. Draw a couple of vertical lines on top of the sloping line for the branches on the antler. Under the first circle, draw a long sloping line as a guide for the front leg. Bend this line a couple of times to indicate the joints. Pay attention to the length of this line in relation to the body. To the right, draw a vertical line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the circle on the right, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the line in the middle to indicate a joint. To the right, draw another long angled line as a guide for the other hind leg. All the lines should roughly end at the same level at the bottom. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Draw the bottom line longer than the top line. Connect the body circles using a couple of lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the bottom line slightly. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small oval for the eye. Place the eye on the top left side near the top edge of the muzzle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small oval and shade it in for the pupil. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for creases. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Add a short line above the eye for the brow. Use the arc on the left as a guide to draw the muzzle. Lightly sketch a curved line on the tip of the muzzle for the nose. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the lines. Draw a curved line at the bottom for the nostril. Make the line at the bottom thicker and darker for the nostril's opening. Darken the left side of the arc for the tip of the nose. The bottom of the nose should be pointy. Below the nose, draw a short horizontal line for the mouth. 
Don't make the mouth too long. Add a few short strokes on the right side of the mouth for a furry texture. Below the mouth, draw a short curved line for the chin. Draw this line within the shape of the arc. Darken the top edge of the arc for the top part of the muzzle. Use the arc on the top right side as a guide to draw the ear. Darken the arc and extend the bottom tips farther inside the head. Draw a few short strokes inside the shape for the ear's furry opening. Use the lines on top of the head as guides to draw the antler. Draw the base of the antler around the short line at the bottom. Draw a couple of short lines around the base. Darken the long sloping line to create the bottom edge of the antler. On the top right side, draw a short curved line for another branch on the antler. The bottom edge of the antler should be made up of a long continuous line. Darken the left tip of the antler too. Draw another curved line on the top right side to make that branch of the antler wide. Curve the line so that the tip of the branch is thin and pointy. Draw the rest of the antler the same way. Darken the guidelines and make the branches thicker by adding more curved lines. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Use angled lines to make the branches more jagged. Make the bases of the branches wide and then gradually make the shapes thinner toward the tips. Draw more thin pointy shapes for the branches of the antler that's on the other side of the head. Draw these shapes to the left of the initial branches. A big part of this antler will be hidden behind the first antler so only draw the visible branches. Use the first branches as templates as you draw these shapes. Don't overlap the first antler as you draw these branches. Use the other shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top part of the guides to create the top part of the head. Curve the line to create the brow. At the bottom, use short strokes as you follow the path of the guides to create a furry texture. Add a few short strokes inside the shape for the fur on the head. Use the line on the far left side that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and the rest of the leg thin. The top part of the leg should be inside the body. Curve the shape around the guideline to indicate the joints. Make the bottom part of the foot flat. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use a few short strokes at the top for a furry texture. Draw the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. Add a small angled line at the bottom for a dew claw. Draw a short line at the bottom to complete the shape of the hoof. Draw a short line inside the shape to split the hoof. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the bottom. Bend the bottom part of the shape to the left for the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Curve the lines to indicate the joints. At the bottom, draw a small square-like shape for the hoof. Use the long angled line to the right as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first, lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. 
Make the top wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the bottom. Curve the lines around the guide to indicate the joints. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Add a square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. Sketch the shape of the leg lightly around the guide and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. The top of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg and the body. Draw the square-like hoof at the bottom using a couple of short lines. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape of the neck to create a furry texture. Curve the lines to indicate the muscle structure. Make the strokes longer on the bottom part of the neck. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you draw the underside. On the top right side, draw a short curved line for the tail. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use different shades of brown and yellow to color the entire body. Use dark brown across the body to create shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Color the neck using dark brown for the dark fur. Use light brown to color the head. Slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. Push down slightly harder on your pencil to blend the different colors together. Color the legs using dark brown. Color the main part of the body using light brown and yellow. Slowly transition from the light body to the dark legs. As you color, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Color the antlers light brown. Use dark brown to add shadows on the antlers. Draw a cast shadow at the bottom using gray and a bit of blue. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result, and that's it for the elk. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.